Hi, welcome to 151 Garage. I'm Sean. That's Jill, my wife. For now. Keep up that shit. Uh, so today we're going to work on her Bronco. It might be the last time we work on a Bronco, but we're going to work on it today. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to remove the grill. Now, we've removed the grill to the Big Ben, which is behind us or in front of us actually, behind you guys. Um, but this is a little bit different. This actually has the camera as well as we are removing all these. Yeah. We are gonna have these painted a different color. This than had the a grill. washer to it. Yeah, it has a washer as well. So we have to get in there and figure out that. Um, we have removed the bumper because we are getting the tow hooks uh, changed, uh, powder coated, as well as the uh, beauty rings slash bead locker rings. Bead locker rings. Um, please excuse our truck in the background. We did have a flat tire. It is in the back of that truck. This comes first before my truck does. But we will go through the process of doing this and uh, disassemble it completely. Sorry. Disassemble it completely. <laughs> she will nag forever if she's not in the video. Look, I'm not in the video. So, <laughs> disassemble it completely. So, we'll go through the process of that uh, pretty quick. We've already done it before, and then we'll slow down when we get to the process of disassembling the Bronco letters as well as the removing the, the uh, camera and the washer stuff. So, yeah. I'm going to hand you off to Jill, and I'm going to get to it. There's okay. some delicate pieces in here. So the first thing we're going to remove is the sight shield. So you're going to pop off all these clips right here. So he's getting the thing for that. Uh, we are changing the sights out. Yeah. These are going to get changed out. This is going to get redone. These are going to get redone. So she's actually going to take mine. Since mine are already pulled apart, she's going to recolor mine. And I'm going to take those and put them on my vehicle. So. Yeah, we figured that was probably the easiest way to do it, just because his was already off. Yeah, we experimented with mine, so if we broke them, we knew how to take those apart. Which, we did not break them, which means we can use hers, or we can use mine. Yeah. Do not Baggies are essential. Do not set these down and let them fall between the cracks of the grill. We've learned that the hard way. <laughs> that sucked. It's like, what the hell? Where'd that bolt go? I don't know. Dropped in the hole. Never gonna find it again. Unless you tear the rest of the grill apart, which we're doing it anyways. I'll let you hold that before it blows around. So yeah, there's bolts right there, and right there, and then there's two more over there. I just got going. I think they're about ten. Yeah. Ten millimeters. Most of your external bolts are going to be ten millimeters. Now, while we're at it, we're gonna go ahead and do what we did to and spray the area back here that you can see through that silver. While we have it off, we might as well do it. Um, I'll be doing the same thing with mine. So people don't know the, when you look through the grill of the front, you can't really see it much here because it has uh, a different grill, but right here you can see the silver in there. So, yeah, you can kind of yeah, see it. Yeah, right there. Down. It's not a big deal here, but on the Big Ben, since there's such a big opening, yeah, they it show like, up really bad. It was... It was it, like in your face, silver. Hey, look at me. <laughs> it was a pet peeve of mine going, man, I could see that walking up. Most people aren't, but me, um, yeah, I love it, looking it at cars. Noticeable. It's one of those things that kind of stands out to me personally, so... Yeah, me too. Because of my background, I just like, wow. They couldn't like hit that with some flat paint. <laughs> and it's actually all it is is 
this cross member right here that's bolted on later on. Yeah. They could have just painted it all black. I'm not gonna paint the whole thing black. I'm just gonna paint the areas that stick out. Most of it's covered with like, like, like this stuff or a black uh, shield, like a water shield or a bug shield or something like that. It's just the pieces, there's little pieces. I think there's one here and there's three over here that aren't covered. Get another bag, keep everything separated. Now, everything that she has taken apart will stay in the car. That way it doesn't get, get mixed up with my car because my car is torn apart as well. Mm -hmm. That on a later video of everything we do. Here, let me just put that there. That takes a shield. The cable that they have, they have two cables here, or a cable and a hose. So all this is right here is, come around this way, you probably see it a little bit better, is a push thing here. And once you push it in, you should be able to slide this right out. This, however, is a little bit different. This, see how it's an oval? Once you squeeze it in, it makes it round which will release it from the pegs here. So it's actually just goes in like this and it clips in. Once you actually push these together, you can pull them out. So make sure to make it round to actually remove it. Otherwise you just break them again. And now, really awful noises. So don't worry, drill. You can have my grill. It wasn't that bad. And there you go. Now, this just looks like a couple screws. Yeah. One, two. The back where the letters are. Three, four screws actually hold this on. Um, actually, there's yeah, a bunch. We'll yeah, 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 we'll take all this apart. So this is the, the connector he was talking about earlier as well. This one, this is the hose that goes down to the camera. And then this is your camera right here. And then these are your letters, and then your clip that these go into there. So the letters are melted in, so we're going to have to drill these yeah. out and get them separate. So, so we will... if you ever get like new letters for the Bronco, um, because maybe something happened to your letter, you're going to have to drill them out. And then on the new ones, you're going to have to do like a plastic weld to weld it into the grill. So just keep that in mind if you replace your letters. If you want to get them painted or Cerakoted or whatever like that, like we're going to do, we're going to get them Cerakoted. We're going to paint the grill and Cerakote the... Uh, the letters. Yeah. And then when we get inside, we'll actually disassemble the entire grill with all the letters. Uh, we'll be right back and we'll be inside. Okay, so looks like right here there's two brackets there's one right here and there's one right here this is for a shield that goes behind the uh the big ben or behind the grill we don't have this this is actually looks doesn't look familiar to me i don't think we ever took this off or we noticed it i know this isn't on there because we don't have a thing but yeah i don't even think this is on the black diamond either no it's not so i don't have this piece on there but we will, uh... It looks like, what, they're Torx Plus? Yeah, it's Torx Plus. So it's 27, Torx Plus 27. I think all of them are. No? No, why? I don't know. <laughs> no. Because it would be too easy. So the ones on this bracket are Torx Plus 27. The ones on these, I suspect, are Torx Plus 25. Uh, so we'll keep them separate. Actually, just put them all in the same thing because you can't really mix them up. This one is going to be a pain to get to.
There you go. Last one. I'll just get it. And then... So there's three bolts for this bracket with the camera. Yep, torch plus 25. Then there's one, two, three, four, five, six on this. So this bracket comes off, but it's all put into the same thing. So I'm just gonna leave it all together. Uh, that way there's no issue of where things go. Torx plus 20, Torx plus 20. I don't know. Find a Torx Plus and fit it until you find the right one. Yeah, it's a Torx point. Plus. Say Torx Plus. Yeah, Torx it Plus. <laughs> it fits some, but it doesn't fit all of them. The Torx Plus 20 fits perfectly on all. Oh, we have those as well. Oh, yeah. These up here, the so, little clippies. Here's this. Now... We have to remove this right there. Look, they're gonna have that. That's the other portion of it, since that'll be painted white too. So I'm removing the four clips on the corners. These are also Torque Plus 20. Yeah, we don't want it. We don't want this stuff to be painted white. We want it to show black like it's a a stock paint so job, it's not like aftermarket. One of these little covered dealies. Dealies? It's a dealie. Dealie whatchamabobs. It's a dealie thing of a jig. You're right. <laughs> Everything the thing of a jig, a dealie bob, or a critter. Squiggly thingies. I'm unscrewing this critter over here. You're going to have to excuse me. I haven't had very much sleep, so. <laughs> it's your fault. Yep, it is 100% my fault. Here, you want to get those two critters over there? You want me to get them? Here's your dealy bob. Dealy bob. Here's a thingamajig. <laughs> she, is a, she is a mechanic. She knows the mechanical lingo. If you don't know it, just make up a word. <laughs> Most of the people who work on or have cars don't know what anything is told. Uh, anything is called. At least not the proper terms, anyway. No. Some places you'd be lucky if they know how to fill up their own gas. That would be uh, a couple states is illegal, which oh, I never yeah. heard of. Yeah, he had a personal encounter with that with somebody in the military. Yeah, they she joined went. the military. She had no idea how to pump her own gas because it was illegal in her state yeah. for you to pump your gas. I've never heard of that. Why? I, I have, know. but I actually forgot what states those were. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Can you go a little bit deeper? Yeah, I'm trying to go a little bit at a time. So it's just, um, take your time with it. Don't be like... Ooh. Hit that with a hammer. When it on my head, hit it. Okay. I gave her the opportunity. She didn't take it. Not now. Chances are over. She didn't take that opportunity either. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna thank that. There you go. So before we do anything, turning us in, we're gonna clean up all the plastic that's stuck on the back of this. Cause when they spray it, obviously they're just gonna spray the front, but we wanna make sure when we glue it back in with this stuff right here, it's JB Weld's 
clear weld it's for plastic and stuff um, we're gonna go ahead and put these back in since they fit you know it still has the tabs there you can put it back in wherever the R is R and then we'll just dab some of that right there and I'll hold it in place now ironically you can see they're white they're not white in the back so these are already painted so, it's like an ivory or something. Yeah, it's like a it's like a tan ivory color, and then it's painted white. You can you can actually tell where they painted it. So it's it's not bad. So painting these is a good thing. Okay, so it wasn't that bad to take apart. It was a lot more than what I thought there was on the other one. Yeah, um, this isn't the same grill as the other ones that I've known. Of course, I didn't try to take everything apart. We just took the grill off, but. It kind of gives you an idea of how to take the grill off if you want to paint it or whatever. But our um, other two Broncos don't have the um, little camera, camera and the washer off. thing on here. So I know that won't happen with the diamond that's behind here or would bend if we ever had to do anything with the grill. No. Um, but drilling out these, just be careful. Use the right size drill bit, which is the one that barely fits in this. So whatever size drill bit that was i i'm sure if you're going to do this you have a set make sure you don't go too big or too small you'll drill right through the letter or you'll drill right through this right here <laughs> you'll drill through this right here um now we are going to take this friday to go get painted as well as the bronco letters to get cerakoted mm -hmm. um, and the sights and the sights which are in the car Oh, they're already in the car. Never mind. They're already in there. They're in the wrong car, but they're in a they're car. They're in a car. Okay. <laughs> so, anyways. I got to put them in my other Badland. Anyways, you know, we do have a couple other things. We do have her dash to pull apart. That'll be next video. Uh, that is going to be more entailed because we are disassembling the dash completely. The vents, the airbag, everything. We are going to get the whole thing uh and I promise it won't sit for five, uh, 88 days. If you follow us on Instagram, you may see a story or a post, post that pops up with what might look like the dash that we plan on doing. Uh, if you're interested in that, take a look at my Instagram, 151 Garage. We'll link it down here somewhere. We'll link it. It's usually up on the screen anyways. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Pray for her uh, Bronco getting back together before 88 days. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Hope to see you next video. Bye. Bye. Uh, can you go grip me a punch? Because I might be able to push it. <laughs> I did not say punch me. I said get me a punch. And what drawer would the punch be? The punch drawer. What drawer would the punch be? The little ones on the side.